Hello guys, and today we're going to be playing Cuphead. Now, I have played this game before, but we are going to try doing it from scratch this time. So we're going to start a new game, and yeah, so I'll do a commentary for it. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the Watt. My voice. Under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. <laughs> One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered, up, entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, explained King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's other, the devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes, he suggests with a toothy grin. With one more roll and the loot in my casino's yours, the devil boomed. But if you, if you lose, you'll, I'll have your souls, deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed for the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, for he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes left the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There, there must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I, I here have a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I might just pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls, otherwise I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. Who'll know what to do? Okay, so... Yeah, so... What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourself into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but uh, but if you refuse, if but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now. Collect those contracts, and and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your deadest friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform to terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. That very magical. Um, now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You'll need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. Okay, so, uh, I will apologize in advance for, for the, um, reading abilities. I was not, uh, oh my. Uh, okay, we are back, and I was just signing a controller, so I can play the game easier, and I don't suck. <laughs> so, yeah, now we can get into the tutorial. So, we learn how to descend, obviously how to shoot, um, how to aim. I never really, this feature, the, the lock feature, I don't usually use it that much, just because it's, like, a little bad to use just because it took takes up a lot of time to just stand be standing there so obviously we learned how to parry a teammate to um bring them back to life and then this is part of one of my favorite parts of this game the ex move and it will launch an upgraded attack and later on in the game actually you'll be able to unlock these things called super arts from the labyrinths that will actually allow you is, am I saying that correctly? Tell me in the comments if I'm saying that correctly. But, it'll allow you to, um, do like, once you get, um, you see these cards that I'm getting. I'll come over here to explain how it works. So once you get enough of these cards, you'll see that they'll start flashing like they did right there. And what they'll, what you'll actually be able to do is it'll be like a more upgraded attack. So we'll get some of those later. But they don't actually allow you. Oh yes, we can. We got a coin. Now this coins are one of the things in my original playthrough that I really struggled to get, because 
essentially what I did is I made some bad investments with my coins and weren't able to get the weapons that I needed in order to beat some of the bosses. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so... We are not going to make that um, unwise decision this time. So if we talk to this Apple guy, he says, Hey fellas, look like you're in the front now, eh? Well, I used to be in the same way, always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to take pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Okay, so then we get the gold coins. So now what we can do... Before we hop into our first battle, I'm going to want to get the spread. Now, the thing about the spread is it allows you to shoot three bullets in front of you, which is very, so heavily useful for the battles. Just because this first battle that we'll, uh, we'll see me do, Botanic Panic. Also, we're going to be playing this in regular mode. Well, actually... For the little potato guy here, you really want to have the spread. Ah, I might die in this first run. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. <laughs> I haven't played this game in probably a month. So we're just going to go with the pea shooter for right now. It'll still... It'll take longer, but it'll be more efficient. Just the EX move. Uh, whenever I parry something pink... It'll give me an EX point. Okay, next is the onion. And for the onion, we really want to be using this. Okay, um... Okay, so there's the onion. We'll see if we can get the carrot. I believe we can, because with this weapon, if you jump and then use your EX at a certain point, you're actually able to get all, um... All of the um, little EX things to hit him. Which is, and we don't have Smoke Dash. Now, Smoke Dash is really useful, and I'll get it. You'll see me get it later in the run. But it'll allow us to. Um, essentially, whenever we dash, it'll allow us to be invincible. Ah! Okay. We'll try it again. Yeah, and thanks. Thanks for all the, um, the views, guys. I never thought it would actually get this many views right off the beginning. I tried making a YouTube channel before once, and it didn't really get that much support. So, thank you so much for watching these videos. Every single time you watch this video, it's a heavy support for me. Just trying to get this YouTube channel off the ground. So, thank you so much. So, we should be able to take down the onion pretty quickly. You just have to dodge these little teardrops that are falling. And they aren't that hard to dodge. So, then, we'll come up to the carrot, and we'll immediately use some of our super arts. Not, not super arts, but arts, I guess. EX moves. See me dash a lot in this stage, just because it's easier to get over these little things. Okay, so you should be almost dead. Almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. Come on! How much HP do you have remaining? Okay, there we go. So you saw me. So you saw me do that EX thing where like I hit all of them. So yeah, so that's what I was talking about. So yeah, I don't think we're getting a very high grade just because. Yeah, I have those miss, but I got a B. That's pretty good. Okay, so now what we're gonna try is we're gonna do we're gonna go over here and we're gonna try this running gun, Forest Follies. Now, what a running gun is is essentially it's like if you've ever played a Mario game, except with Cuphead. <laughs> Now, the aim feature might actually be pretty useful in this one. And the spread shot's even better on this one, just because of these guys. Even even though you really want the pea shooter for um, these little guys, because you really, you really, really need it to. So, we got that. So, 
the reason why we're doing this, even, like, why? Like, because originally, these aren't completely optional to beat the game. But, it gives you the coins that you need. And really, if you don't have coins in this game, like, like I was talking about in the beginning, like, I just got completely, like, locked on this, like, this one level. So, that's why we're gonna try to grab these coins in the beginning. Okay, so we're almost at the boss for this first one. And yes, they do have bosses at the end, even though they aren't, like, a certain, like, boss, 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 I guess. <laughs> it's odd to explain. Okay. Ah! Okay. Okay, so now... Acorn guy. This is very easy boss. Because he just keep doing this. That's the entire boss. <laughs> so now we just have to make sure that we don't mess up on this. Ooh. Oh my, okay. We are gonna go for some of the sketchier coins. Just because, like I said, they're almost required. Okay, so there we go. Bravo. Finally. Okay. <laughs> what did we get for this one? A B again. That's fine, in my book. There's a certain quest later on in the game. This is why I'm so worried about, like, the grade. There's a certain quest later on in the game where you have to get, um, A- minus and above, I believe. So now what we can do with this is we can go to Pork Rind, and then we can go immediately what I said when we were fighting the Root Pack, Smoke Bomb. Now what that will allow us to do is essentially dash through any attack. And that is my favorite charm ever to use in this entire game. So I'll equip it there. Then we'll try doing Goopy La Goopy Legrand. Let me get out of this. There we go. Ruse of a news. Here we go. Now this guy is like very renowned for being the easiest boss of Cuphead. <laughs> like even easier than the Rookback. Oh, I see that 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 smoke dash. Really, that's why I did this beforehand. Just because the smoke dash is so useful. You can just get away from his in instantly. Like, see? I just went straight through him. Oh yeah, and you can parry his little exclamation marks, if you didn't know that. So we're gonna try getting some arts off him. Oh, dodge. Okay. And if there's any other faster way to use- to kill this guy with any other weapon, try to tell me down in the comments down below, just because I do not know of a way yet. Ah, okay, so. Down to two on the gravestone phase, you can get some very easy damage. With this. And this stage is also pretty easy, because essentially, you can do the same trick that we did with the other guy. Ah, okay, except not right there. Oh! Oh, okay, there we go. Still good. Mm, there we go. First try. Very, uh, very not often when you build beat of Cuphead boss first try. We did pretty good on that one actually. Still B. <laughs> Are we just gonna go all Bs for this entire run? There we go. Okay, so I think we're gonna try one more boss before I end this video. And I don't know which one I was gonna- I don't know what I was doing here. Yeah, I just lost my train of thought completely. Um, so we'll try- we'll go over here. Yeah, we'll try the labyrinth, actually. We'll try this labyrinth. Or mausoleum, that's what it was. Okay, so for this little mission thing, you have to just parry off these little guys. And it's- the first one is very easy. You can't actually shoot them. In case you're asking. So, yeah, so this is extremely easy in my opinion. When it comes to Cuphead as an entire game, I don't know 
if you ever want to like try something in Cuphead that like you really like you don't really want to lose anymore just try Mausoleum 1 and it feels really satisfying to do too with the whole like movement options we will do the delicious last course I know I'm a little late to it but I do have purchased that and it will be shown off in video so there we go so now what essentially what this will give us is our first super art and essentially that's what I was talking about with like the the different um five cards when you get five cards it'll give you a special attack and what the reason why we got this one is because it's probably my favorite super in the entire game called the energy beam and essentially so yeah this is the thing if you want to go to the DLC also a fun little secret that if you didn't know this if you press down both of the buttons on the top of your controller at the same time you can actually go back into the fight even though it doesn't allow you regularly so that's pretty cool actually so yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video again thanks for all the support that you, that happened on the last one I hope to see you soon in another video, probably on Sunday again, just like this one. So, yeah, see you later.